So how toxic is credit card debt? Let's compare the average interest rate of credit card debt versus the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is an index consisting of the top 500 US companies that you can invest in. Think Apple, Microsoft, Chevron, Meta, Berkshire Hathaway, etc, etc. The return of the index will give us a feel for what is a reasonable rate of return for a common investor who doesn't mind some volatility. The S&P 500 has returned historically around 10%. Factoring in compound interest, your investment in the index will double roughly every seven years. Friendly reminder though that historical rate of return doesn't guarantee future rate of return, and the S&P 500 has had plenty of bad years. Remember 2008? Now looking at credit cards, credit card debt comes with an interest rate around 20%. Talk about financial exploitation. Likewise, credit card debt does compound, meaning it doubles roughly every four years. So how toxic is credit card debt? It is holy crap levels of toxic.